This is lesson 39 with Bernard Kitchens, and it is January 21st, 2015. We're going to begin in book four, lesson two, and song 12. So let's just play through the whole thing. Um, Remember. Try to remember all the patterns and go from there. Keep playing, yeah. <laughs> left hand note. My left hand note is right there. You start it again, the major. Yeah, there's your right hand note. Start again. <laughs> yeah, let's do that measure again. Let's just work on that measure. So realize you got two back and forth patterns in the left hand, and you just got to not even read it, but will yourself to just go into a pattern mode of thinking. Oh, that's right. This is the one where we did this. Yep, yep, yep. That's all it is. That's easy enough. I know. <laughs> Good, again, again. Good, let's do it a few more times, that same measure. Yeah, try it again, see if you can get rid of the hesitation. Okay, so try to will yourself to play the left hand even if your right hand can't find a note. Try to just continue that left hand on out through the whole measure. <laughs> yeah, again. Ah, 
My left hand's got to keep playing. Yep. Ah, left hand, left hand, no pause. There's no pause, there's a note the, every That's time. There's all eight notes in that measure. If I see you playing something, I'm Yep, count. every count. <laughs> yep, again, no hesitation. Again, if you can't get your hands coordinated, then just play the left hand without stalling. Good. Much, much better. Let's do that a few more times. Still a little hesitation in there. Not bad. Not bad. Left hand. Two more times. That's good. Two in a row. Perfect. All right. Let's do the measure pre prior to that a few times so you can get it succinctly. And they both end on third finger. Try again. Pattern on the left hand is exactly the same. There's nothing funky about that. It's dropping all the way back down to your bottom note each time. Yeah. So I don't know why I keep wanting to go back to my mm -hmm. screen. Okay, so nice. Couple more times. You got it. Thank you too much. Thank you too much. <laughs> yeah, count out loud. So I'm keep okay. counting louder. One, Good. One more time. Nice. Let's do the next measure. See if you can get it first time out. Got to get it to that green. Go again. Yeah, and don't stop. Again, remember, if you just can keep playing... Probably get the right note. Probably. Okay. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep that left hand going. Go again. There's a note every note. Mm -hmm. Nice. Do it again. Watch that left hand. Yeah, one more time. 
Let's get one more perfect one. Good. Good enough. Let's go back to the previous measure. Nice. The next measure. Good. So now play them back to back without pausing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try it again, but you, you sped up significantly. <laughs> so keep it back at a moderate pace. Too fat, too fat. A little, slow it down a little bit. Okay. Slow, slow down. down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right there. Uh, I would focus on the left hand note more than the right hand chord. I just played it. It's the same two notes. You see? Yeah. In the right hand, yeah. So, yeah. If you can just make that left hand transition, you're going to be all right. Go again. Now let's try something different for a second. Start at measure nine, you know, line three, and I want you to just play the left hand all the way to the end as fast as you can. Faster, 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 faster. Twice as fast as that. There you go. Keep going, all the way to the end. All the way to the end. Yeah, start it again, and I want you to see if you can do it. The, the point being, making the transitions between each measure without messing up. That's the point. different on that one. Just try the last line. Okay. It's tricky. Yeah, see, keep your count. It's it, it's a very frustrating measure because okay. it's it's like it's a very strange sort of syncopation is what it is. Even though you're playing nothing but eighth notes, it still has a type of syncopation to it because of the patterns. That's what makes it hard. So if you can overcome that weird sensation, because as soon as you felt it, that's it's when you start. Everything down. Exactly. Okay. So. All right. Nice. Yes. Yes. That was awesome. That's the point. You can, I mean, you and your voice even helped you override it. You just kind of forced your way through it. Do it a couple more times. That was great. Yeah. What's that last measure? Just play it. What's that last note? <laughs> Good. Let's do the whole line again. Okay. 
So, okay, so in that third measure, what I want you to do this time is when you hit that first green note, okay, which is on an and, I want you to say that and with emphasis, really loud. So you're going one and two and three and four and, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So try it again, doing that. Again. Not bad. Try to get all the right notes. Okay. Yeah, but you got to keep counting. You just can't hit that end and then stop. <laughs> okay, go again. Nice! Then you just gotta get those last five notes. Let's do it one more time, see if you can get them all. You keep speeding up though. Good enough, listen. Let's try those two measures again. 14 and 15, back to back with both hands. Slow it down. Back to like one and two. Same pattern on the left hand, just dropping back down. Okay, go again. Yeah, back to back. So again, you're focusing on that yellow note in the left hand. Yeah, they're, they're playing simultaneously for the first four notes. So keep it going. You just got to force that left hand to kick in. And you can say the and louder again to try to Make yourself make that transition. Keep it slow enough to be able to do it. Oh, okay. And hit it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Just to, at the very least, get to that end and finish out the left hand if that's all you can do. Try again. Hit that left hand going, just make it go back and forth, somehow. Yeah, make it go back and forth. Go again. You'll get it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it does have an odd feeling, and that is the difficulty. That's the, it's not the notes, it's, it's how it feels physiologically.
Keep it going. Keep it going. Fist to the left hand. Again, if you can just keep from stopping the left hand, even if you drop out on the right, just try to make that happen next time, at the very least. The left hand? Yep. I think I'm looking too much at the, the right, trying to look for that. Yep, yep. Yeah, again, that left hand has to keep playing. Okay. All right, so just for the sake of doing it this time, when you get to that green note in that second, you know, the last measure that you're playing, don't even try to play the right hand. Just don't even do it. Just play the left hand and make sure you do it. That's it. Just for the sake of doing it. What? What are those notes with the left hand? Wait, wait, wait. What are those left hand notes? Ah, but you missed the left hand. Your whole focus is getting that left hand right. Okay, left hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, and you're also switching to yellow in that first measure at the end. So you're you're now mixing patterns. Got to make sure that, that you're always dropping down to the bottom note in your hand position in that, that first measure every time the pattern starts over. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good, good. See, that's an improvement. Okay. So again, keep doing it. And if you can get the right hand, great. But if you can't, keep finishing out the left hand just like you did. That was good. Good. Better. Got more of the notes. Almost had them all. Good. The few I left in the middle. Yeah. Just keep working at it. It's all right. Yeah, again, you're switching that left hand to a yellow note there at the end. And, yeah, I think it's an anticipation of switching. To yep. The, okay. Yep. All right. That the key is the left hand because if you play the wrong note. It will throw everything off because these patterns are so distinct. It's it's not like compared to like let's just say if you're playing on line one, and and a note in the left hand is wrong, it's really not going to affect anything. It's not going to throw you off because it's it's not that there's not a pattern, but it's not so tightly wound as what's going on down here. Okay, so the, the left hand pattern is what's keeping me kind of going through. Yeah. And if I mess it up, then it messes up. I'm, not, I'm finding I'm stopping because I'm like, wait a minute, that's wrong. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it is your foundation, and it's got to be right. Good. 
good. A little jaggedy, but you got all the right notes. Let's do it a couple more times. Go good, go good, that was good. All right. Let's get right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 again, you switched. I went to that yellow. Okay, I see that. Okay. Something was uh, what? something was off. And, that, and again, on beat four of the first major, something was off. But go again. Something sounds off. Okay. Let's do it again and go ahead and play the last measure as well. Okay. Perfect. Let's do it again. That was awesome. Do it again. Did it again. You, you hit the yellow again. Hit the yellow. Too early, yep. Yeah. Go again. No, there's your yellow again. Way to stick with it. Let's do the whole last line. So, again, just that first measure is really easy. All you got to do is make that transition to the second measure, and you're, you're home free after that. Yeah, start again. Just do it until you get the transition and then keep going. If you make the transition, keep it going. Yeah. Should I keep going? No, I want you to get it right before you keep going. No, no, see, you're going down. That's going higher. You're on the last line, right? What's that chord in the second measure? Yeah, notice, okay, notice the difference between the chords and the first measure and the second measure. They're both four, four notes apart, right? Yes. And there's all, in a, in a set five finger hand position, you only have two options for notes that are four notes apart. And that's, that's almost entirely what you're playing in this song is those two chords. 
So, think about it. Go again. And then, so you got the chord. That was good progress. Now watch that second finger and the right hand. That's, that's, that's the next tricky thing to keep up with. Okay. All right. Again. Nah, nah. You're going to the, you keep going to the chord that would be like measure 10 up above instead of where you're at. So that, that could be habit. I don't know. From You see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yep. Again, it's those four notes, four notes apart. Yeah, that's it. Okay, try it again. You're going to get it. Same chord. Hey, you got farther. <laughs> Keep going. Same thing. Ah, again, you switched to that yellow. You started speeding up, too. Watch your speed. I think if I go faster, I'll make it through somehow. <laughs> okay, all right. I think part of what you're doing is when you get to beat four in any measure, you are so anticipating the next pattern. Or reading ahead, I'm not sure because I can't see your eyes during the process. So, um, but that could be what's happening. It's, you know, you're advancing your thought too soon. Nowhere to go, but I don't have to necessarily read that far ahead. Right. I think because I'm getting antsy as I get closer because I know. Right. Good though. That's I know good. I made it through the first measure, so yeah. I just gotta uh, second measure trans first measure transition. So I gotta tie this all together. Okay. Come on. That was right. Yeah, you had it. So again, the, you know, you may not be aware of it, but what you really are doing is that it's almost like each measure is its own unique song. It's a new environment. You have to be willing to shed the environment you, that you just left. To get into the one that I'm Yeah, in. they're so radically different. Even though this is, in the grand scheme of things, a very simple song, it's not conceptually. It really isn't. Watch your speed. Yeah. Okay. Next time. Uh, if you just are stalling, then keep going. 
Okay. Okay. Unless you just totally obliterate the notes, then keep going. All right. So go. <laughs> well, in theory, you could. In theory, in theory, it already is. It's orange. So it's... I mean, I could do it, but you have to kind of know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, no. So low. Okay. Scare him to make that a habit. One. You busted your whole left hand pattern up. Say again? You messed up your left hand pattern. I just really want you to get the left hand pattern right, even if you miss the right and hand. Start, is, it, is it for one particular, it's measure three, right? Of this it just depends. Of this. Yeah. You, again, it's like what you take, you know, if you're playing the yellow and red orange pattern and you play a yellow and a green, it's it's going to bring everything to a standstill. If you're playing the the orange, green, and yellow orange pattern and you drop a yellow in, it's going to bring everything to a standstill. First of all, it sounds bad. It sounds, it, it's just, and so your ear is going to recognize it. And it just, and it's going to make you question where you're at. It just does. And then once I hear something that sounds off, then it's like, whoa, 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 that's wrong. Right. So that's why it's just the left hand is so critically important. So anyway. Do you left hand or do we? No, keep doing it. You're doing it fine. Listen, the thing is, you got to, in some ways, I mean, yeah, you're talking to me. I'm here. I'm commenting. But this is really like, it's more like practice what you're doing right now as if you were on your own. What would you spend your time doing for an hour? Are you just, you know, it's like saying, I have to figure out how to get this. And. That's why you play it so many times. And, you know, I'm the only thing I can say is try to point out why you're doing what you're doing to help Wrong. facilitate your practice to make it more efficient or effective. But ultimately, you still got to take the steps, and it's just taking it 10, 20, 30, 40 times. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's no reflection of ability. It's just practice. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and you knew it as soon as you heard it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how stark it is when you have such defined patterns like this. Again, that was on the fourth beat. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good there. Pretty good. Let's go again. Do it again. Line three. Line three. Okay. Line three. So the biggest thing is just it's it's the first note transition of each measure. That's the whole key to playing it is being able to switch those patterns. Go. 
Oh, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Okay, so do it again, and this time, don't be so concerned about getting the notes right when you, at the first note of each measure, be more concerned about not stopping or, or slowing down, and just see if you can get it something in real time. Maybe it'll be right, maybe not. Yeah, start again, start again. First note, right? So again, the tricky thing is that second finger. If you can just be willing to play that second finger, that's it. Go again. Hit that note. Much better. Let's do it again. All right, so that was good enough. I, I want to come back to this in the next lesson. Um, but I feel like, we'll, you know, you don't want to go too much because we'll get diminishing returns for the time spent. But really important, this, I mean, that's why I stayed with this for so long over the last few lessons is because if you can just overcome these patterns, you can do almost anything. You just got to be free. You can't get so locked into a pattern that you can't adjust okay. to a new pattern on okay. demand. It's a, it's, it's a very challenging skill to learn. So let's, uh, let's open up um, in book four, lesson three. Um, rhythm exercise one. Hmm. So, if you can go to page two. Got it? Okay, so at the top of page two, your first note is a dotted half note. So it's a half note plus half of a half note. So that's a half note plus a quarter note, which is three quarters of a measure. Three counts. Three whole counts. Or from an eighth note perspective is six counting words. So... Given the limitations of notes that we have at our disposal, these are all the possible options you can get. That's it. These seven measures. There are no other options, rhythmically, if you include this note in the measure. So you'll notice down on line three, instead of having a dotted half note, you're representing it as a half tied to a quarter. Same difference. Could be done either way, right? Mm -hmm. Or... As in, you know, like the last line, the quarter note can come first before the half note. It still is three quarters of a measure. doesn't matter how it's done. Okay? Okay. So, let's play it. Count out loud. Should be pretty simple. Any two notes, right? Here. Yeah. Okay. One and two and three and four. Four. 
four and one and two and three and 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 four and one and two and three. Yeah, these notes. These, these notes are so long, you have time to go, you know, check your stock portfolio and get back to it, you know, before you get to the next note. <laughs> so, anyway, let's go to song 14. And we'll just get exposed to it here for a little bit. Maybe you'll master it really quick. I don't know. Hang on a second. It's still pulling up for on my end. Okay. So, um, Mark, you there? Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, you know what? I reversed it in this lesson. We don't want to do this. Sorry. We want to go to uh, song 13. Sorry. Yeah, because that's in a new hand position. I don't want to learn in a new hand position right now. Well, start with um, orange. Stay with orange. So anyway, song 13, which is actually pretty simple. So my hope is that you're going to play this song perfectly first time through what? <laughs> I know it's been done just so you know couple couple times not not to say that it would be wrong if you massacred it but it's it's funny there are you know I have had um, you know a few people come through that really really blew the learning curve <laughs> so anyway um, we'll see what happens, but I still think you're going to do well at it. Um, so you've just got that, do that dotted half note, which gives you a lot of time to think. So there's, there's not nearly as much action going on as one might suppose because of that. Okay. It just, it looks like it. <laughs> just, just like it. It looks like it. But anyway, and there's lots of repetition. Okay. And they're both in orange. Both hands are in both orange. Both hands are in orange. So make sure you're in orange, an octave apart. So your right hand should be where? My right hand should be between six and seven. Yeah, is it? No. No. Wait, is it that low? Is it? No. It's not. <laughs> there you go. Okay. You got it. Wait, it's between six and seven. Yes, that's right. And then your left hand should be between five and six. Yeah. So that would be... There, there you go. Okay, that's it. Count out loud. That'll help you. Go slow. That'll help you. Okay, so those are dotted half. Wait, they're tricking me because that bottom note's a quarter note. Yeah, it's a dotted half on top, dotted quarter on the bottom. So basically, you're just, it's like, forget about the, the, the yellow note. It's like you're reading the left hand for the first three beats, and then you're switching to the right hand for beat four. That's not so hard. You see my point? See. All right, so the only time they really play together is on beat one. That's it. That's how easy that is. So we got one and two and three and four and that's same it. thing. That's it. One and two and three and four and we're switching and then we go. Keep going. Hit it. You can do it. Together, together. And three and four and one and two. Uh, two, one, three.
Keep going. Doing great. Keep going. What's that chord in the right hand? Wait, that. Mm -hmm, keep it. Just play. Doesn't matter, just keep playing. Just play the next note. Forget about the count. Play the next note. Good. Keep it going. Doing great. Don't think about it, just play. Keep going, don't stop. Keep going. What's that chord in the right hand? What's that chord in the right hand? Okay. And three. Keep. Nice. So, I mean. <clears throat> It's definitely an easier song, which is why I had you play it all the way through. But, I mean, you did. And that's the first one we've done without practicing measures to start with. So I just want you to realize that. You just jumped. Yeah, you jumped, you jumped it and you did it. So let's look at a few things because there's really not that much to analyze. So if we look at measures one and two and five and six on line two, those are simple, right? Yeah, they're all the same. Those are all simple. Okay, measures three, four, five, and uh, three and four of line one, and then the last two measures of line two are exactly the same except for the very last note in the left hand. That's the only thing that's different. It's it's an mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So it's basically four four measures of exactly the same thing. So all we have to do is practice one measure over and over to get that, and that's going to be done, right? So that's one thing to practice. Um, if you go look at line three, measures nine and ten, the only time they play together is on beat one and four. So that's not very much information to process. It's basically like playing the hand separately for the most part. So that's, that's pretty easy. Uh, if we look at the last two measures of line three, they're exactly the same, right? Yes. Okay. Now, if you look at, um, first of all, play those chords in the right hand real quick in that in that measure. Measure three. Whichever one. They're both the same. So oh, just both the same. It's actually I'm playing. I was playing this, but it's. Uh huh. What are the three chords? So it's oh, just. Yeah. It's just. Right. It's a pattern, right? It's actually the same notes that you use for that warm-up chord page, right? 
Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. So that's all that is, going in descending order. Now, the top, now, look at the notes in the left hand line up with those three chords. Do you notice that the top note of the chord is the same as the left note, uh, is the note in the left hand that is aligned with? Yes. Okay, so. Yeah. The, okay, is that the, or the yellow orange, the. Uh... Yeah, it's yellow orange against yellow orange, red orange against red orange, green against green. Okay. Green. Okay. okay, so since that's the only time they play together, that makes that measure ridiculously easy too for that reason, because the chord pattern is, those are simple mm -hmm. chords because they're all the same type of chords being two notes apart. Uh -huh. You see? Uh -huh. So the trickiest measures really are the first two measures of the last line. Um, and it's because they don't appear, nothing similar appears anywhere else. Right. And the, and the combinations of the notes kind of in the middle of the measure are a little funky because they move at different intervals away from, you know, one's closer and one's farther apart type thing. They're not consistent at all. So there's no, they're very asymmetrical. Uh, that's so really those two measures are the hardest and that's really where you slow down the most which was to be expected. So uh, let's start with working on measure three real quick. We'll just see if we can knock this out real quick so we can be basically done with this song and in the next lesson we'll just, you know, we'll revisit it just to see how it does sight unseen. So measure three. So measure three? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, and by the way, by the way, look at measure three and Again, the notes where the left and right hands line up. If you look at those three notes in the left hand, you're going from green to red orange to yellow orange. It's still an ascending note pattern where they line up. And the same thing is true. That's the same as the top note in the right hand. I forgot about that one. Okay? You see okay. that? Yes. Okay. So it's it's basically an ascending pattern for, for that measure, whereas... The third measure of line three is the same three notes descending. That's all it is. Okay. Yep. All right, so we go. And it's the same two notes in each hand, right? All you're doing is breaking them apart in the left hand, but it's the same two notes. Same chord, right? Okay, so yeah, just realize when you get to that last one without hesitating that you're playing the top note in each hand, period. Just think about that when you get to beat four. Okay, go again. Okay, so wait, between three to four in the first line, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep repeating okay. the measure over and over. Let's just knock it out. Just, just, it's the same. So it's it's the point. same. It doesn't matter. You're just repeating it over and over. Okay. Quick as you can. So. Don't Don't stop. Just keep playing it. Watch that chord in the right hand. You're, again, your top notes going up single notes at a time. Like so here. Quickly, do it again. Do it again. Quick as you can. Top note in the top note in each hand is playing. Top note in each hand. Go again. No. No. Nope. Ascending notes one at a time. Just realize you're playing ascending notes. Wait, but oh, okay. Right. Okay, second note. Wait, but that only works for the first, that only holds for the first one, right? The top uh, note of each of those chords is ascending. Just the top note. Don't worry about the bottom note. Just the top note. There we go. Top oh, note, oh. automatically. Get that in the left hand. 
See, I, I'm looking at your left hand, seeing the hesitation. Hit that top note without question. Hit it. All right, go again. Good enough. At least you got the top note. Go again. There you go. Now it's coming. Just keep doing it. Watch that note, ascending note pattern in the right hand. Doesn't matter what the chord is, as long as you get that ascending note. Hit that top note, top note in each hand. You're guaranteed to have to hit that top note in each hand. Even if you miss the chord, you're still going to play the top note. Okay. Go again. Good. Keep doing it. Doesn't matter. Keep doing it. As long as you get the most important things right, you're going to get it. Keep doing Top note. If you make a mistake, just don't miss that beat four, top note. Get that one right every time. In both hands. Get it right. Focus on getting that right. All right, let's do uh, the third measure of line three. Just play those chords real quick. Play those chords in rapid succession in your right hand over and over. That's it. And it matches your left hand when they're playing, so go for it. Yeah, it's that easy. That was great. Now that you see the pattern, it's pretty obvious. Do it a few more times. No, that's wrong. Okay. Ah, no. They're both dropping by the same step. They're both dropping by one step. Realize that.
right, now let's look at measures 13 and 14 and tell me if the first four notes in each measure are exactly the same. The first four notes. Mm -hmm. No, they're not the same. Really? Wait, in the left hand or the right hand? In, well, in the left hand and the notes in the right hand that coordinate with it. So three notes in the right hand, the first four in the left. The first four in the left are the same. And in the right hand? They are, wait, first four counts? Well, are the pitches the same? No. Yeah, they are. Are they? No, it, I see a green, I see a yellow, a, gr a green, and then an orange, and then a green, and then I see a... Yeah, no, 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 not the, just the first three notes. Oh, first three, sorry. Yeah. I said first four. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're the same. They're the same. The only difference is that the orange note in one is a half note, and in half the note, other, it's, a, first it's a quarter note, but who cares? The, it says that the first... For the first half of the measure, you are playing exactly the same. It's, it's only what comes after it that's different. Okay, so let's just work on those first four notes, and that's it. Because if that's the difficulty of the measure. If you can get that uh, without slowing down, then you can get the whole measure. It's that last note that's the tricky one. Yep. Go again. Goes. All right, so it goes. Nope. <laughs> and see, the thing is, you correct one, you miss the other. You get it, and you miss. I mean, it's it. it's okay. a funny thing. This combination. Okay, so let's see. That's it. So now you just got to get rid of the hesitation. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 again. Mm -hmm. Again. Watch that, yep, right hand. Faster. Nice. nice. Just keep doing that speed. Just keep doing it. Rattling off. Nice. So that's pretty much the whole song right there. Um, but let's leave it there for now and not play the whole song again. So when we come at this next time, what I'd like for you to do is, uh, instead of playing the song straight through, is if you can just remind yourself what the critical things were that we practiced and you walk me through those things and just go ahead and play them a few times each, just like what we did, and then play the song. Because I want you to try to just remember what it was that was relevant about it, you know? So um, let's, let's conclude it with that. So this is um, Virtuoso Lesson 39 with Bernard Kitchens, and it's January 21st, 2015.